Hey guys, it's Ewok Pilot here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Grandpa Clone Customs Doom Trooper. Now for those of you who don't know, Grandpa Clone Customs is a custom LEGO clone maker who fully pad prints his figures. This is the exact same process that LEGO uses when they make theirs, so you know the printing is going to be really, really durable. And of course he does it on mostly official LEGO parts. Uh, the helmet is the only thing in this particular figure that is not official, but sometimes he uses official helmets, you kind of just got to ask around to see if the figure you're interested in is using these helmets. But without further ado, we're going to get straight into this. Now the first thing you'll notice, obviously, is that this is matching the 2020 style of print that we first saw with the 501st Legion Clone Trooper set in the summer of that year. And this guy is, of course, not in the standard white, as you'll notice. This guy, as you see in the show, uh, dark or gray is the primary color that they use. It's uh, light bluish gray for this particular figure. You can see we got the legs and olive green, the arms and olive green, and then the helmet and torso and light bluish gray with olive green print on it. Now you can see the legs do match the Lego style really well. I like the compromise with using the uh, olive green legs instead of the light bluish gray legs with olive green printing because I feel like that just would have looked worse. I think the decision to go with the primarily green legs was a good one because it just makes this figure look good from almost every angle and you get the good nice wrap around boots. Um, and moving up to the torso, you can see we've got the belt in brown. And as you'll see when I upload my comparison video with CAC, this is a detail that CAC actually did not get right, but Grandpa Clone Customs did, which is very good to see. Um, you can see we got these green lines down and then the classic yellow triangle that you see on all Doom Troopers. Then we move up to the helmet, which is one of the coolest parts because of the fact that this is an official Lego helmet mold, so it'll match unlike Clone Army Customs and it will fit in with your army just well. Now, of course, like I mentioned, this is not an official helmet. If you look in there, you will not see the LEGO logo. This is a knockoff, but the clutch power is really, really good. You're not going to have to worry about this thing falling off or anything. It will stay on, but it's not too tight, so you don't have to struggle to get like the head out or something. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Overall, guys, um, this is an incredible figure. I'm very, very biased. The Doom unit is my absolute favorite. I ordered quite a few of these guys. I have about 10 of them right now and plan on ordering many, many more. Um, we're going to do just a quick little comparison with the Grandpa Clone Customs Captain Rex and then of course the official 2020 style 501st Trooper. As you can see, the prints all match pretty accurately. This guy uses an official Lego helmet, so you can just see the differences. They do sit slightly differently on the heads. But other than that, guys, this is an incredible, incredible figure. Very, very pleased with it. And I do highly recommend you check out Grandpa Clone Customs and buy from him if you are interested. But that's going to do it for today's video. And if you like the video, I appreciate you subscribing and liking the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, guys.